Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian works and youth affairs, chairman of the oil and gas holding company Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with representatives from a Ryder Scott company where he was presented with the initial findings of the pre Uneza gas discovery. During the meeting, His Highness noted the importance of these findings, which paved the way for further assessment and study. He also commended the work done by Ryder Scott and Tatwir Petroleum on this key project, which will contribute to the kingdom's economic vision 2030. His Highness further added that these new natural gas discoveries will significantly contribute towards the vision and ambition of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to boost natural resources and their value in Bahrain. The discovery of the two new natural gas reservoirs in, in the unconventional Al Juba and Al Jof layers located under the gas producing Al Khuf and Al Uneza reservoirs in Bahrain were announced last November in appraisal and testing work has been ongoing over, over since months. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, Chairman of Tatwir Petroleum Faisal Al Mahrous, Group CEO of New Holding Mark Thomas, an acting managing director of Tatwir Petroleum Ghassan Al Mahanna. Additional appraisal wells are now scheduled to be drilled in 2023 and 2024 in support of a potential full development program beginning in late 2024. The oil and gas sector in Bahrain received special attention from His Majesty the King and close follow-up from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, given the important role of the sector in supporting the national economy. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain is moving forward in promoting and raising the value of the country's natural resources. The discovery of the two new natural gas reservoirs in each of the unconventional Al Juba and Al Jov layers located under Al Khuf and Aneza natural gas producing reservoirs in Bahrain is an important point in the record of oil discoveries in the Kingdom. These important discoveries come in line with the ambition and vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its efforts in developing the oil and gas sectors, which resulted in these important discoveries in a way that enhance and serve the national economy and the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The signs of these discoveries continue to announce promising results in the natural gas reservoir, which paves the way for further evaluation and study in order to achieve the Kingdom's vision 2030. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif Zayani, participated in a discussion session under the title The Role of Offices in Diplomatic Work as part of the Diplomatic Forum 2023. The session focused on the role of political offices at the ministry in following up on political and consular affairs with Bahrain's diplomatic corps abroad and providing the required information to bolster bilateral cooperation between Bahrain and brotherly and friendly countries. The heads of diplomatic corps abroad participated in providing interventions and proposals on topics and issues related to diplomatic work work and manner to develop the performance of political offices in the ministry. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the discussion session under the title Developments of Political Affairs as part of the Diplomatic Forum. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah reviewed important regional and international issues to which the ministry gives considerable attention within the framework of Bahrain's foreign policy and the wise directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Undersecretary affirmed that the ministry is keen to strengthen bilateral relations between Bahrain and brotherly and friendly countries in accordance with international laws and principles of good neighborliness, non-interference in international affairs and promotion of the values of peace, tolerance and coexistence. Municipalities Affairs and Agricultural Minister Wa'el bin Nasr al-Mbarak met with representatives, council members and southern municipal council members. The minister stressed the keenness to continue developing the services provided within the municipal work system, especially with regard to gardens, parks, markets and other municipal facilities. He highlighted the achievements within the National Plan for Afforestation and the efforts made to reach the goals. And Mbarak hailed the lawmaker's role in developing legislations on municipal work and partnership in implementing the various strategies and governmental programs in the the government's development process. The minister stressed the importance of community partnership to implement various services and development projects in line with the kingdom's urban progress contributing to achieving municipal goals and providing services to citizens and residents. 
The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhru, participated in the second annual ministerial roundtable on the future of ministerial meetings, which is part of the second edition of the International Mining Conference held in Saudi Arabia with the participation of ministers and representatives of government delegations, representatives of multilateral organizations and agencies, leaders in the mining and min mineral sector, and non governmental organizations from countries in the region. The meeting discussed enabling the creation of resilient mineral value chains across major regions from Africa to West and Central Asia. It also focused on the region's ability to contribute to the growing global development of important mineral value chains, encouraging responsible mining, increasing the value of mineral wealth in our region by becoming the suppliers of choice. Industry and Commerce Minister Abdullah bin Adil Fakhru met with Saudi Minister of Industry and Mineral Resources Bender bin Ibrahim Al Khrayef on the sidelines of the Second International Mining Conference in Riyadh. The two sides reviewed long standing relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, stressing support for all programs, initiatives, and projects that would strengthen and develop joint ties. Fakhru praised the strategic steps led by Saudi Arabia to support sustainable economic development spanning all fields, including the mining sector, to meet the rapid global growth on minerals necessary for the manufacture and advance of technologies. The committee concerned with studying the government program and the Representatives Council chaired by the first Deputy Speaker and Chairman of the committee, Abdin Nabi Salman, held a press conference in the presence of a number of the Council members during which it announced the unanimous approval of the government program for the next four years. The committee is scheduled to present its final report to the Representatives Council during an extraordinary session that will be held tomorrow. Tim Keen held a press conference where it presented the most prominent achievements of the past year and the strategic priorities for 2023 based on Tim Keen's keenness to enhance the principle of transparency and brief the labor market on its upcoming plans. Tim Keen affirmed his commitment to achieving its goals in supporting the growth and development of the national economy by strengthening the status of the private sector as a main engine for economic development and qualifying national caterers with the necessary skills to be the ideal choice for employment in the labor market. The CEO of Temkin, Maha Mufiz, affirmed that Temkin is working as part of an integrated system to achieve national goals in line with the economic recovery priorities that have been identified by the government. She added that Temkin is committed to implementing visions and aspirations based on Bahraini citizens as stipulated in the government's program which contributes to achieving economic development. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, has conducted inspection campaigns in coordination with the Ministry of Interior and the Southern and Northern Governance. The LMRA noted that the joint campaign in the Southern Governance conducted in partnership with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and the Southern Governance Police Directorate, in addition to the other joint inspection campaign conducted in coordination with the General Directorate of Crime Detection and Forensic Evidence. The third campaign was implemented by the authority's legal control sector in the Northern Governance. The campaigns resulted in detecting a number of violations related to the provisions of the labor market and the residency laws in Bahrain. The Bahrain National Football continue their outstanding performance in the 25th Gulf Cup tournament held in Basra. The team was able to achieve its second consecutive victory by winning the match against Qatar, which was held yesterday at the Olympic Port Stadium with a score of 2-1. to one. To lead the second group in Gulf Cup 25 with six points, Camille Al Aswad managed to equalize and score the first goal in the 73rd minute after the team conceded a goal while Abdullah Youssef scored the winning goal from a penalty kick. Bahrain's football coach Souza expressed pleasure with the victory and the performance presented by the team against Qatar. Sebastian Loeb completed a superb hat trick of on stage win for Bahrain Raid Extreme at the Dakar Rally ventured into the empty quarter in Saudi Arabia for the first time. Loeb and Fabian, uh, uh, Fabian Lorquin took their Bahrain Raid Extreme uh, prod drive hunting or hunter to a third successive victory on the 114th kilometer 10th stage from Harad to Sheba with a margin of three minutes and four seconds from the audio of Matthias. 
Ekstrom and Emil Berksvisk. The result has strengthened his grip on third place overall as Nasr Al Atiya clocked the fourth fastest time on the day to finish its holding on outright lead of 1 hour 21 minutes 34 seconds in his Toyota over Brazil's Lucas Moraes.